Okay. I just want to say I am on team Eli. And mm. I think that Lonnie's being unreasonable. He saved her from going to jail. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> I'm, assuming, I'm assuming you agree with me. Of course I do. A hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, not letting him in for the appointments and stuff. That's pushing it a little too far. Being a baby mama. <laughs> 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 so Camila what's Gabby going to be up to yeah she's back to business it's all business it's getting her life back together and making sure that uh, her name which is Demera mm -hmm. is is being respected around town oh and I'm assuming she'll be after Jake uh, you know, she's not, she's, she's kind of not over him. So there may be something there. There may be. Do you think she has genuine feelings for him or is she kind of rejecting her feelings from Stefan onto Jake? I think she needs therapy. <laughs> <laughs> she does not know what she thinks. I think that she's still mourning Stefan in a way that, you know, there's a lot of, there's different steps to, to, to mourning and I think she's she's definitely not out of denial she may not be completely in denial but I think that part of her lives holding on to Stefan um, I mean her wedding band lives around her neck just above mm -hmm. her heart and uh, it's it's something that she he's there how can she forget that that his face is is on his body you know so it's, it's a really tough dynamic for her. And I think that the, the confusion is something that I don't think she may able, be able to figure out on her own. She may need a professional. Okay. Uh, for Rob, um, the, uh, you're doing a great job with um, Ben being in mourning and a, and a bit in denial. So uh, where, do you, uh, where do you see Ben going in the future? Is he still going to be... Stuck no, he's gonna, no, no, he's, he's, he's lifting the, uh, the veil of that for sure. He's, he's going to get on his horse and he's going to start looking for answers, which I wish we did even sooner, but for sake of this story and the way things were, you know, he had to go through his, his stages of this and he's navigating it properly. Now he's going to follow his heart. Um, he's re-inspired. He has faith again. He's got hope again, and he's going to do it on his own. If nobody's there with him, even he's going to figure it out. Um, whether he finds his wife or he, he finds himself in the process, he's going to, uh, he's going to come out of this. He's going to, he's going to shake this stuff off and, and, and do what he's got to do. So we're going to now just right now we're, we're embarking on that journey of um, that whole, that whole process. So. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah. I'm um, excited. I'm excited. And how's Eli going to embrace fatherhood here shortly? How is he going to embrace fatherhood? Uh, with open arms, I think, you know, it's something that he uh, and Lonnie each have been anxiously waiting for the arrival of not only the, the twins, but just a baby in general, or, or I won't right. say a, a baby, but we're, I mean, we're talking about David Abraham and, and the twins. So it's something that they both have really been looking forward to. And I expect them to be great, loving, wonderful parents. Okay. Well, thank you guys and Merry Christmas and congratulations on 14,000 episodes of Days of Our Lives. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Merry Christmas. <laughs>